y'all. It's to Carla, D Love of Fashion, and today's episode is going to be about women's cowboy boots and how to fit your calves. I know a few things about that as I used to work at Boo Barn, and yes, I do sometimes have the calf problem. So, before we get started, before I forget, please follow me on my social medias, and D Love of Fashion is going to be where my Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest are at. And Foxy D Love is going to be where my Poshmark closet's out. So if you'd like to buy any of my gently used and worn fashion, I always give gifts and a personal card. So, let's get started. So, first off, one of the important things for the calves, people that have the calf issue, is zippers. And I have quite a few that I'm going to show you today. But the first one is my beautiful, beautiful python, which has the inner zip, which makes it a lot easier. And you just unzip it, and then you always just have to pop your foot in there. You do want it to pop in there. You want it to snap in there. It'll give you a better fit. Um, I made the mistake one time of buying bigger. Like, I usually wear an eight and a half, but I bought a nine because I couldn't get my feet in there. And then once they stretched out, well, then they were too big for my foot because then my foot did not fit here right. So, just word of caution. Either try on another pair of the same boot because sometimes they don't always fit the same. And please don't mix up the pairs of boots because they do each all have a serial number on the inside. And we're supposed to check for that um, to make sure that you are buying the pair of boots that was made together and that they go together. So anyways, that's just some of the little tips. You know, always try on another pair if you can't get them in there. And don't ever buy them too big because, like I said, they're going to stretch out. And, and I didn't, I tried the bigger socks thing, but again, my foot just didn't fit right. So always buy your size. And then this one has the inner zip. And then this one also has a nice little stretch right here. And as you can see, like on the inside, see how it has the stretch right there? So that also helps with the cab. And that's something to look for. Um, these are just gorgeous boots, aren't they? And then another thing to look for is the vamp. The deeper the V right here, the easier it is to get on. Um, and as you see how it's a lot wider just and then the front and the back and then to always look for the shaft you can always tell by the shaft I'll have some different things for you to look at to see how some of them are a lot you can just tell they're a lot thinner and a lot skinnier and it's harder to get the calves in there so th again this is a Justin boot and so it does have a nice V in it and I've always heard that Justin's are very nice and a lot easier to get in and out of and these, again, these are my favorite pair, and they're um, Double D Ranch, but they're made by Old Gringo, and I'm going to show you some different variations of Old Gringo, just I'll have them up here in the corner, and they have what they call Relax Fit, and like my favorite pair of boots, I don't have any yet, but one day I will have a pair, and they're called Mara's, and they're very tall, and it's like a very tiny ankle, and then it just goes up to cover your calf. But they do now have them in relaxed fit, and they have some of their others, like I think they like the click clack and stuff like that, and the Belinda, which, oh my gosh, I love the Belinda, and the Belinda I will show right here. So they do, they accommodate the bigger calf. And so again, these ones, as you can tell by the shaft, how it's, it is a lot bigger, and then it also has this little detail. See the detail with the little buckle? So you can make it tighter if you need to or loosen it. And then they also, too, have it's the entire zip, which is always so nice. Of course, you know, the bigger the zip, the longer it is, the easier it is to get your foot in there. So again, you just want your foot to, it has to pop in there. That way it just makes it a lot easier. I know sometimes it's a struggle, but... It works, trust me. So we're gonna move in onto my next table and it's basically gonna be more of like the black boots, but I have different variations there. So let's move on. And here I am, poof. Okay, and also a variation, I know not 
when I worked in the store, not all women liked the idea of the booty, but the booty is always another good variation. And with these, especially depending on the toe or whatever, you can wear your boot cut with these and or the bells, which I love. And then that way you can't tell that it's not a full boot or I like to wear my skinnies with it. Um, with all my boots, I do like to wear skinny jeans because a lot of them are so beautiful and have a lot of detail on them that yes, I will wear a skinny because I want you to see my beautiful boots because I spent, you know, lots of money on them and stuff. I mean, not that I don't know how to shop for them, but anyway, so a booty is always a good option. Ooh. And this one, and most of the time, even still for me, I do have to have that inner zip because they're hard, especially with a booty, it's like they make it, it's like they just do the whole ankle part and it's hard to get my foot in there. I have a high arch, extremely high arch, so that makes my instep very high. So the more help I can get, the better. It's hard for me to just pop my feet in there. So anyways, these aren't a real cowboy boot, but I just wanted to show you that there are different options out there. And then there's these, these are Dan Post boots. And see how the shaft again, is a lot wider and then it starts higher up here and then lower back here which is also good for the calf but this one has a unique feature and the zipper is down the back so that's also helpful and then here's my other favorite pair of boots these are I don't win this is the the line from Miranda Lambert which I love these and I could not find any more of these like even like because this is like old gringo has done boots like these and they have the inner zip and as you can tell see how they do the thin ankle and then it goes wider for the calf and the best part about these besides they're just fabulous in the snip toe is they have the elastic up the back and then that way it can accommodate all calves. I used to sell a lot of these at the store because I would be like, look, it's like, and whether you have thin calves or bigger calves, it's like that stretch will help. And it, you know, for me, like I said, I wear them with my skinnies and it just goes over with them. They're so beautiful. And I personally like the snip toe. And the reason I do is like back in the day, even when everybody was wearing the pumps, that nice pointy toe makes your leg look longer. And I know a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, and it's like, but it's not the same as wearing a high heel. Your toes do not go down into this little part. It's just basically decoration or so you can kill cockroaches in the corner is what they say a lot of times. And as you can tell on most of my boots, I have this little crease. So you can tell this is where my toes go, right to here, and then just the rest of the boot. It's just air. Anyways, that's why I like him because... I don't know, I just think they're fancier, and I always thought like the square boots were a lot shorter, so my toes would hit the edge, and I have sensitive, crazy feet, so I can't be doing that, so that's why I like a snip toe, and these are fabulous. They're plain, but they're gorgeous. And then another option to try is, this is also an Idle Wind boot from Miranda Lambert's line at Boot Barn, and I like it. It does have the lower vamp. You know front and back but it's also a shorter shaft as you can compare to like these I know these are a little bit taller but see how they're a lot shorter so then you're gonna also have you know more room for your calf right here and I have never I remember helping a customer one time and she was worried about how her calf came out and you know I looked at mine and I was like well I do it too but you know you can't nitpick your entire body about everything and I always look at it as nobody's looking at your calf they're gonna be looking at your fabulous boots anyways and the way you're strutting around in them looking all fabulous and everything so don't worry about that part because it's back there behind you who cares it's about the beauties and like I said it's about how you strut right right and then this pair yeah, I kind of have a thing for the Idle Wind boots. This is also Idle Wind from Miranda Lambert's line at Boot Barn. And these, they also, as you can tell, the shaft is a little bit wider. And it has a taller front, lower back for the calf. And not only does it have this zipper, 
but it has this zipper and I have had to with these I do have to unzip both pop my foot in and then just zip them up and I have also found the softer the leather the easier they're gonna break in and you can also and one thing I learned when uh, I bought some boots like in the 80s at hotline <laughs> yeah hotline that that'll take you back is if you can't you can try to zip your boots up and if you can't do it with them up over your calves you and it's gonna be harder with these the stiffer leather but you squish them down zip them up and then pull them up over your calf and then that will help also so now it's time for on and and now it's on to my fabulous brown boots collection I recently just purchased these and these are Liberty black they're fabulous look at all that fringe and the conchos and these two also have the inner zip which this is when I say you need to try on maybe several pairs and I know if you order them online but for boot barn you can order them online pick them up in the store try them on and then you can return them and if you have to maybe you need to order another size or like I said no two pairs of boots are ever the same so you could order another size or maybe if you can afford it buy two pairs of the same size and maybe see which one fits the best because a friend of mine bought these and she bought them in a seven and couldn't get them over her calves and I could get these over my calves and like I said they're just beautiful so again try and again here's a fabulous booty look at these aren't these fun lots of fringy 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 and with a nice heel and it too these are corrals and they have an inner zip again that inner zip is going to help you out a lot oh, these are corrals and as you can see how wide these are see how that shaft it makes a big difference and with a nice decoration but what one of the reasons why I had to have these is they have the Thunderbird on there. That is like my favorite. The Thunderbird and Eagle. Those are just like my ride or die, I guess. I love many animals, but bird-wise, I do love lots of birds, but those are what resonate with me a lot. But these two, they have an inner zip. But since they are so wide in the shaft, I can, which is kind of surprising for me, I can just pull, pull these off and on without unzipping them. And they're very comfortable. And they have a round toe, which round toe is pretty good, but I'm still a snip toe girl. But had to have these because, yeah, they're Thunderbird. And again, another example of a booty. These are Dixon from Ariats. I love these. They have so many of these, and now they have like... Uh, different cutouts and things like that. They have these in silver. They have them in leopard. I must get them in leopard. And and these are a lot easier to get off and on just because they have the big wide open on both sides. So you can just pop them on and pop them off. And again, I do wear these with skinnies because I'd like you to see them, but they'd be good. Again, for a boot cut and for a bell, just so you could see the toe and you wouldn't have to see all this opening if you don't like that opening. These are Ariats, and I think Ariats are pretty nice about, you know, room, and they have wides and stuff like that. So I bought these, and again, because uh, a lot of mine are going to be like older boots, because, yeah, I've been around with the whole Boot Barn Shepler's family for a while. But always look on Poshmark for if you see any of the, like, the boots that I have, look on Poshmark. A lot of times I have seen uh, the Idle Wind with the, um, the elastic at the back. I have seen those on Poshmark. And those, are, those were easy to break in. Those were good boots. So again, I bought these off Poshmark. And the reason I bought them is, as you can tell, they're good at the ankle. And they go wider up top. And then they have the taller front. And then they accommodate the calf and they do have the inner zip and they have the elastic and they have other boots with this and yeah before I lost some weight I did cut my elastic just to help them out a little bit I wish I would have done that but it is what it is so anyways it helped me out so 
This is a good pair, Ariels. And yes, another pair of Idlewind, and it's like the gray ones. They have the cute snip toe, the inner zip, and of course they have the shorter back with a higher front. And they got that stretchy back. Again, great, great detail. And I have seen these on Poshmark as well, and I know they don't sell these on the website anymore on Bootborn. So look for them on Poshmark. And there you have it. These were, I love these too. So now we're going to move on. Calf. And see, I'm one of those girls that is like, I'm always in between everything. These are gorgeous, but these are like too big for my calves. You know, see how big they are? But at least they accommodate it. I, you know, I look like I have a little kid leg because my leg just knocks around in there. But they are comfortable. They're cute. And Women Within is good for having wide calves for your boots and for shoes they have wide widths. But they are fabulous and they do have the inner zip right there. And so you should always take care of your boots. And then like I bought this and I got this for my python boots, which are Corral by the way. And it's the exotic boot spray. I was never good and still don't take care of my boots. Um, you can talk to the people that work at the store and they'll be able to help you out with what you should buy and how to take care of them. Uh, I personally always like my boots to look lived in. I didn't mind that I didn't, don't ding the toes up. I was okay with that. You know, when I nick around and walk and kick my boots or whatever, I'm okay with that. I just, that's just the way I am. I like them to look like they've been lived in. And then also boot stretcher, which is something I sold a lot of. And for me, when I use the boot stretcher, it just depends on who you talk to, but I sprayed the inside of the boot and on the, in the toe area, I just take, take it and put my hand down in there and I'd spray all of this really good. That way it'd break my toes in and you know, the width of my foot. And I've never really found, and you can take it in, like Boot Barn, they'll stretch your boots for free. And sometimes they can't always stretch the shaft. They can try, and they can go, you know, so far. I know you can take them to boot people, boot repair shops, and they can add the elastic in, like this one has the elastic. And some, I think, put zippers in. I don't know how much that costs or how well it turns out. I just know people have done it, and I never did see anybody bring any in to the store. So anyway, so you take your boot stretcher on the inside, you spray it, get it pretty wet, and then you stick your foot in there, and yes, you should wear them wet, and then, and if you want, I wouldn't do it on these particularly, but I also spray it on the outside just to give it some more mobility, and sometimes you have to do it for a while, and then sometimes they're fine, and then you have to go back to using it again. And a little secret that I learned about this. Um, of course, I got a discount because I worked there. But when I was spraying it, I was like, this smell smells very, very familiar. What is this? Yeah, well, something they don't want you to know is the fact that it's rubbing alcohol. So buy the bottle if you want or get your own spray bottle and use the alcohol and spray it on there to stretch them out. And also, you can always dress your boots up with boot bracelets. This is a Harley Davidson one. Always loved it. And I just bought one because they were so expensive. But I also like the look of just having one on there. And it kind of went clink every time I walked with one leg. Which kind of reminds me of Desperado, the movie. With, uh, what was his name? Antonio Banderas. Loved that movie. So anyway, so you can always decorate them with that. Or... As I've showed you before, with these, you can buy boot rugs. These are just leg warmers, and they're fur, and they just look fabulous. I just slip them on over my boot. they got the stretchy right here, and I've got lots of compliments on these boots. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, where'd you get the boots? And it's like, it's really not about the boot. It's just about the leg warmers. See, look, these are corrals, and they just they have all the, the cute heart, hearts on it and stuff, but... I don't know. I just like the look of it on there. And then also on the inside, 
I have really bad pinky toe problems. I'm sure they're corns, but every time I try to remove the corns, and that just leaves a hole in my skin. So I have purchased these, and they're for bunions to put on your big toe, but I wear them on my pinky toes, and so wherever the bump is at, I just put them on like this, and then I put my hose on over that and then that way and they don't ever move because they're you know this like silicone -y stuff they're fabulous i love these things and so they always probably 98 percent of the time always help my toes because i would be on my food my feet eight hours a day in these cowboy boots so i suggest something like that or if you want to use uh inserts for your boots i can't because of my high instep so if the boots just don't work and they're not comfortable, then I usually just can't wear them and I sell them. And then the, another tip that I use is I do use compression trouser socks. And that helps to hold my foot in. And again, it goes up to my calf, so that also will help me to pop my foot in. You know, especially, you know, if you're sweaty and stuff and all that, that will help and it will keep your feet all together and it'll give you that extra energy that you need throughout the day keep your foot all in so it's not all swelling up inside um, and so I'll have a picture of what I buy there because you can get them like at Walgreens or Walmart or wherever and I just think that helps out a lot so I hope you enjoyed this today and go out buy some cowboy boots and I do recommend Boot Barn. They have some great ones. There's a lot of great places out there. Um, River Trail Mercantile has some good boots. Um, they do sell the relaxed fit. Um, like I said, Poshmark, you can buy some good deals on there. You can find all kinds. Um, you can look by brand or just put cowboy boots. Of course, there's going to be thousands and thousands. So. Corrals are my favorite. Idle Wind is my favorite. I like Ariat's, Dan Post, um, of course, Double D Ranch and Old Gringo. And with Old Gringo and the Double D Ranch, they are more expensive, but I don't know if you like credit cards or like a lot of the places are offering like the Zezzle and all that. So there's always ways to figure out how to afford something like that. And just remember, you know, as you can tell with something like this, there is a lot of quality and hard work that goes into these and they're handcrafted and sometimes you got to think about that and it's better leather and I can hear it squeaking. If you can smell it, mm, it smells so good. So, anyways, if you have any questions, please let me know. And remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. I truly appreciate it. And don't forget to follow me on my social medias. D Love of Fashion is going to be where my Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest are. And D Love of Fashion is my Poshmark. I have a couple pairs of boots on there if you're interested. I have, I think, only one pair of cowboy boots, and they are a booty, but they're cute, and they're black with um, studs on them. So anyway, so again, I appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. Thanks.